Testimony in the hush money trial for former President Donald Trump is now turning to the accounting records. The former Trump executive on the stand today, but not before the judge finding the former president in contempt of court again. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest from the courtroom. The focus now in Donald Trump's historic criminal trial, the crucial paper trail. Jurors getting a look at emails, handwritten notes, and invoices outlining the alleged scheme in Trump's hush money payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. Former Trump Organization controller Jeffrey McConney taking the stand, telling the jury about a meeting he says he had with former Trump CFO Alan Weisselberg back in 2017. He testified they discussed how to reimburse Trump's former lawyer Michael Cohen, who wired the $130,000 payment to Daniels just days before the 2016 election. Some of the money coming from Trump's personal account, McConney testifying that only Trump could sign those checks. Defense attorneys trying to distance Trump from the pair's plan, asking McConney, President Trump did not ask you to do any of the things that you just described, correct? McConney replying, he did not. Trump improperly calling it a legal expense when he repaid Cohen, according to prosecutors. But defense attorneys asking McConney about that classification, who said it may have been categorized that way because of the Trump organization's, quote, antiquated internal payment system. Prosecutors also calling longtime Trump organization employees Deborah Tarasoff, a direct report to McConney, who worked as an accountant's payable supervisor when Cohen submitted invoices to be reimbursed in 2017. Trump has pleaded not guilty to charges of falsifying business records and has denied that encounter with Daniels. The judge also finding Trump in contempt of court for the 10th time after he violated the limited gag order in the case by commenting about the jury in a recent interview. The judge telling Trump he does not want to put him in jail, but he will, if necessary and appropriate. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.